In this video, I am going to show you how to find the greatest common divisor. A lot of you ask about this in the black belt packet, so greatest common divisor. That is what GCD stands for, it does not stand for greatest common denominator. I prefer to call it greatest common factor, but it's the same thing. A factor and a divisor are both a number that divides into another number. So we want to find the biggest one that divides evenly into two different numbers. So let's try 24 and 56. Okay, so you can do this a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you this tricky little way using the factor trees. So we got 24 and 56, and I think you have done factor trees before, but basically the idea of a factor tree is to figure out what factors go into 24. So what times what equals 24? Most people, since it's an even number, like to go with 2, and you know that 2 times 12 equals 24. So when I see a prime number in my factor tree, I'll just circle it. So I know 2 is prime. But I know 12 is not prime because I can multiply other numbers besides 1 and itself to get to 12. So I can multiply again by 2. 2 times 6. And I'm going to circle the 2 again. And 6 is not prime. So I'm going to keep going. 2 times 3. Now I'm done. Because 2 is prime and 3 is prime. So now I'm going to do 56. I'm going to stick with my 2. Let's see, 2 times 28. Circle my 2. And then 28. 2 times 14. Circle my 2. And 14 is 2 times 7. I'm going to circle my 2 and my 7, because 7 is also prime. So now I'm going to kind of list out the factors. Uh, so I'm going to do 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And 56 is 2 times 2 times 2 times Seven. So now we can see that these numbers have three common factors. They have a 2, and then they have another 2, and then they have another 2. The 3 and the 7 are not common factors. So I'm going to circle these pairs of 2's. So that's three common factors. And what you do is, since they are both have three twos in them, you can multiply the twos together. Two times two is four, and two, and four times two is eight. So, since you can, since they all have them, you can multiply them together to get the greatest common factor. And so the greatest common factor of 24 and 56 is eight. And if you think about it, you know that 8 goes into 24 3 times, and 8 goes into 56 7 times. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. And that's not the only way to do it, but that is one way. Okay, thank you.